The Sun is the largest object in the solar system, consisting of 99.86% of its entire mass. However, despite its tremendous size and weight, how does it stack up to all the other stars that are in the universe? If stars can get bigger than our Sun, the question is, just how big? When a star is born, there are multiple factors that determine its size. These include the outward radiation and gas pressure coming from the core of the star and the inwards pressure of gravity keeping the star together. Different outcomes occur if one of these forces overpowers the other. To start, let us look at what these two forces are in depth. Radiation and gas pressure are the photons, which are light, and particles bumping around inside of a star. As these photons and particles slowly bump around, making their way to space, they increase the pressure with stars. As there is so much mass contracting gas particles inside of a star, it increases particle speed and energy, which increases the outward pressure and temperature of a star. In smaller stars, gas pressure is the dominating force, with particles such as hydrogen and helium mainly contributing to the outwards pressure in stars. However, in larger stars where the core can reach up to 1 billion degrees, radiation pressure begins to dominate as many more photons are emitted from the extremely hot core. In order to counteract outwards pressure, gravity works to pull the star inward through its own mass. So inwards pressure comes from gravity, which works to crush the core, heat up the temperature inside, and speed up the particles zipping around inside of the star. This balance between outwards and inwards pressure is called hydrostatic equilibrium. It is at the point of this equilibrium that determines how large any given star is. Since these forces contribute to the size of a star, we need to find the right mix of both to determine what the larger star would look like. As it turns out, gravity does begin to overpower radiation and gas pressure as the size of the star increases. For example, in our star, its radius is equal to the point where gravity overpowers radiation and gas pressure. So, a star with too much mass would collapse in on itself, while a star with too little mass would simply evaporate away. The larger stars in the universe have relatively small masses, and as a result, are slowly evaporating themselves away. Because of this high evaporation rate, it makes it difficult from Earth to determine exactly where the star begins and the mass which is blowing out into space ends. As the star increases in size, it becomes hotter in the interior and it can become larger. More radiative pressure means a larger size as gravity begins to overpower and shrink stars. This means that the most massive stars with the most gravitational pressure are not the largest. So to determine what the largest star in the universe is would mean to calculate the maximum amount that radiation pressure and gas pressure can equal out gravitational pressure to give the largest possible size. This is currently an unknown in physics and no upper limit has been definitively determined. However, one of the largest known stars, UI Scuti, could give us an idea of how such a star may look like. It is over 1,700 times the radius of the Sun, and it sheds so much mass, it has created its own nebula, expanding out much further than the orbit of Pluto. If placed in our own solar system, it would be larger than the orbit of Jupiter, swallowing all the inner planets, the asteroid belt, and even the mighty Jupiter hole. What makes this red hypergiant so massive is its relatively cool temperature. With a surface temperature of 3,365 degrees and its mass at just 7 to 10 times the mass of the Sun, despite being 1,700 times its size. Because of this tiny mass to size ratio, the surface of UY Scuti is so thin that the line between its surface and the end of the star is unclear, making its exact size difficult to pin down. So, while we may not know exactly where the larger star resides, we can imagine how such a monster star would appear. What kind of name would you give to the largest star? Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and thanks for watching.